Everybody was praying in tongues. And uh, there was this girl. I was praying for her. And uh, I was just screaming and shouting in the front row. And everybody was looking at me like I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I started, you know, I had a couple tears on in my face. That's all. It wasn't much. It was just. <laughs> 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 yeah, but uh, then while we were praying in tongues, the lady was preaching. I saw her up there. She said, uh, if you already pray in tongues, go out and go a step further and go reach the next level that you need to reach with the Lord. And I was praying in tongues, I was praying hard. I was trying to get I was trying to get another language in, but it just wouldn't come. And then it just came over me and I was like, I just fell on my knees and I was crying. And then I started saying a language I've never heard before. It was just, it was amazing. It it was so life changing to see all of those all kids younger than us up there on their knees praying to God and thanking God for for changing their lives. You know, I thought. I thought I had God, you know, I thought I, I had him all the way, praying him, praising him and everything. When I went to the ramp, he he touched me and told me, you know, you, you only thought you had me. You only thought you were praising me, but you were halfway. And the first day, I I was sitting there praising him, and I was so scared to think to like, start jumping and praising God because I thought, you know, all these people around me would judge me. And God spoke to me and said, who cares what they think? You're here to praise me, not to impress them. I fell to my knees crying and I just started saying, thank you, God. You know, just, it was so amazing. The third day we were there, the last day, I, I didn't recognize my own self, you know. I was sitting there thanking God for everything. I didn't care what anybody thought. I was there to praise one name, and that's God. And it was it was such an amazing trip. God was in everybody's touching everybody's lives. And if y'all could ever go, you sh it's it's an amazing trip. It really is. God is so good. Amen. I really believe that this is an ultra, ultra powerful move of the Holy Spirit that's moving across this nation to change people's lives, the, everybody's lives, and it's powerful, powerful, powerful. Stephen, glory be to God. Uh, wow, that's what you love me. Uh, I, I'm a, before I speak, I'm going to say I forgot something. You know, when you get into something like this, it, it just sets you on fire. You know, it, you can just see it. Because when you leave the place, you're praying for people that you would never do that before. Just that and the other. And then one day, Zay woke up in the morning, and he gets up way too early. Uh, he went down to the lady at the front. Remember that? Yeah. Tell about that. Well, I went up to the lady in the front, and God just told me I should pray for her. And I went up there and prayed for her. And then she started to cry, and then she told me, there's really bad stuff going on in her life, and she started crying. And, and then she went around and gave me a hug, and she said, You ain't buddy. Oh. <laughs> it's just little stuff like that, you know. And it, there was 5,500 people there, and only 300 people were sitting down. I mean, that's it. Everybody else was standing up praising God. Uh, and the first night that we were there, you know, I've been to things like this. I know what it feels like. I know it pumps you up. But, you know, I really wanted to see my kids, you know, the other kids too, but definitely my kids. Just, just experience something like that. That's why we did that. But I was, I decided to go up there with them, all the crazy young kids up front, me, for the whole time to, to begin with. Of course, I'm like, man, my legs are gonna be tired. I said, that's okay. I, I want to see my kids, you know, get this. And about 35, 40 minutes into it, you know, I was just praising God, worshiping God, and, and then just before you know it, I turn around and look and. This one's got his hand raised to sing with everything he's got. This one's over here got his hand raised. Justin's got his hands raised. I say, you know what, God? 
this is why we're here. I said, this only to me. And then I decided, then the next day, this guy was up there singing. He sounded like Larry Merritt. I know some of you guys know him. But he was up there singing uh, uh, an Israel song. And I just, it just touched me. I said, and I sent him a message on Facebook. I said, listen, I just want to tell you that I love you. I said, you have no idea what you've done for my life. I said, I watched you praise God. I said, and I learned from you. And I said, I wanted to be able to get up there and praise God. I said, and because you did that, I'm doing that. And because I do that, my kids are doing that. That's right, so you guys have to be the light for your children. They're, they're going to do exactly what you do. That's right. Even though sometimes they're praying, they're going to do what you do. So if you're following God, His word will not return void. That's and right. that's what this trip did. I mean, it, it set the kids on fire. He's reading the Bible every day. He's in his wrestling room praying, and people are like, what are you doing, man? And then they were playing some ungodly songs. And the guy said, no, 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 man, he's reading his Bible. Cut that mess off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> the presence of God, just unbelievable. So that was it was it was a major trip and it, yes yes it, it was great. I just want to share a little thing that happened in that last day. This girl she was in a wheelchair right. Kate uh, Cena was it the night before or that day? They, she was leaving. You were in front of her. We, we walked in. With her. They walked in with her right. So she went you know she was in the service and she was just. I don't know if someone's paying her, but she said it. This is what she said. She just wanted to get up. <clears throat> and she got up out of her wheelchair, and she was walking around. She was a little shaky, but you know what? That's still awesome power of God. Yes, yes, if you've yes, yes. been in a wheelchair for a while, that's a miracle. Yes, sir. That's a miracle. So you know what? The whole gamut of everything was there. And like Stephen said, he said it really good. The whole reason that we're there is to see people's lives get changed and touched by the Lord. And it was very, very powerful. And it's a good thing. Yeah. It's a good thing. Uh, and I want to thank, do any, any of the other chaperones want to say anything? No? Okay. And I want to thank all the chaperones that helped me and helped us do all the stuff and everything worked out so good. I just want to thank God for all that. And thank you guys for helping us to go. It was just ultra powerful. So thank you. Thank you all. And you come on next time. Okay. Amen. Thank you guys.